Good morning, kids. Eleanor is taking her bath. Buddy just crawled up inside the tube there. I'm not sure if you can see him. Good morning, kids. Hey guys, how are y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. It's a beautiful day here in Las Vegas. Fluffy clouds in the air. A little bit of a breeze. The gale force winds we've had for the past two days are gone for the most part. And uh, it's just a beautiful day. It's 62 degrees. Love it. I had to put pants on today because it was a little chilly. 62 degrees is chilly for me now. My old Boston self would laugh at me today. But I'm at the airport going to the post office. There's a new guy at the post office. He makes me nervous. <laughs> he's always complaining about the government and he's always yelling and saying very kind of irrational things, certainly things I wouldn't say to him while a customer was right in front of me. So I'm a little anxious about the guy at the post office, but um, I am awaiting a new cell phone stand for my dashboard. Um, I'm hoping to get that in the mail today. Uh, Kevin, who is also known as Diva here on my page, an amazing human being. Uh, he sent me something on Etsy for my birthday. I have no idea what it could possibly be, but he sent me something. That should be here soon, hopefully. And what else, what else, what else? I did not film yesterday. I've been filming a lot lately, uh, but I hardly put pants on yesterday. I don't think I even put on anything other than underwear yesterday. <laughs> so I certainly wasn't filming. Um, Spent the day at the house relaxing. I was on reserve, so who knew if they call me or not. But I uh, just hung out, played my new video game that is called Outer Worlds. It's been out for a couple years now, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, just having a great day. Fully caffeinated. Had a bowl of cereal for breakfast today, so I'm not starving myself yet. Here we go. So uh, we'll see what the day brings. I've got a few days of reserve, so I might uh, make a few days into one video. Oh, ugh, credit. <laughs> Sorry, I stopped mid-sentence. I had to put my arm down. I was getting tired. Um, so, uh, credit my schedule for next month. It was 81 and a half hours. I was, I was awarded a line that had 81 and a half hours. I swapped them, some things out and that brought me down to 73 hours. Well, I was able to pick up a couple of things and swap some other things for higher credit trips. Now I have 105 hours. That's too much. So I'm going to try and drop something when I can. I think that's tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, it's, a, it's a, a much healthier schedule for me, but 105 hours is too much. I just can't. I, I can work like 90 hours and I'm fine. 105, it's a little much, a little much. The paycheck would be nice but it's a little much. It's a very quiet day of the airport today. Apparently Tuesday is the day to travel. Hey there, so I got a stack of cards, no packages. I'm really looking forward to getting my new cell phone holder for the car. Uh, but uh, you know, it's funny, as I'm coming through the airport and now leaving the airport, as I see coworkers who may not know me because I'm not in uniform, I'll say, hey, y'all are on nod, I'll smile. And I just know that some of these young, pretty ones are looking at me going, ugh, that old man just hit on me. Mm. No, no. That's okay. I feel really cute today. I'm wearing a, this very floral shirt. This is a Banana Republic. I'm not sure who made this jacket. It's like a, a blazer made out of denim. I even like my belt. Look at my belt. Can you see my belt? I think it's from the late 70s, early 80s. Very very vintage. Love it. Now what to do? Now what to do? It's Tuesday. Oh, it's senior day at Savers. <laughs> huh, maybe I'll go. So I opened up my cards already. I did not really look at them. I just didn't want to take a half hour of your time watching, you know, watching me tear open envelopes. But this is a sympathy card uh, right here from Kathleen and Tamara or Tamara. Is it Tamara or Tamara? If you're from Boston or from Rhode Island, it's Tamara. Uh, but, uh, I wonder, um, it's a condolence, uh, from, from them for John. It's a lovely card. 
Uh, I was thinking about John today. I think about him probably every hour. But today, I sort of, mm, I was not living up to the standards of my sponsor and his expectations of me and what he taught me. I was not living up to that. Uh, his his ideals and his life was all about being patient, loving, and tolerant. This is, Those were his goals, and he, he achieved those goals many, 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 many times in front of me. Although... It was amusing once in a while when he would slip, when he would slip and he would like not live, you know, live up to those ideals of patience, love and tolerance. It was a, a little amusing when I would catch him doing something that was a little, you know, and uh, it was always kind of, it's like catching your parents swearing or catch, you know, it was very, very funny. Uh, but um, so today I had to call, I had to. Uh, it's a company called Lease End. It's a, I guess they buy expired leases or leases that are, are going out of whatever. Uh, and uh, they send me probably, I'd say six pieces, eight pieces of mail a week. A week. I get pieces of mail in my mailbox. Phone call. I've got text messages. I used to. I, I blocked them. And uh, emails. And I tried reaching out to them by email, asking them to stop contacting me because it's just irritating. Uh, I don't even have that car anymore. Uh, and uh, nothing has worked. So I called them today and I did not live up to the ideals of patience, loving, or tolerance. I was using my uh, old voice, which was not old because I was using it today. Um, so it, um, I hope it works. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I was, I was unpleasant on the phone today to somebody and they were just doing their job. I know they're just doing their job, but yeah, I'm tired of getting that mail. So I was thinking of my sponsor and how disappointed he'd be with me today. <laughs> and it's not a big giant thing, but it could have been the last straw for somebody on the phone, you know, but uh, I could just see him sitting next to me and this little tiny barest of shakes, he'd go, and I'd know that I just disappointed him. So, mm. womp, womp. but uh, thank you for the card. <laughs> There's always a story. Um, so this is a card from Don. Uh, and this is a happy birthday card in the light there. And uh, there is a gift card to a series of restaurants as well. I hope a recent trip around the sun was amazing. Happy birthday. Dawn and, and her buddy. Her buddy is a dog, uh, which is just great. I love dogs too. I've always lived with dogs. I never had cats. Um, oh, speaking of buddy, do you remember me mentioning um, Lori, my coworker Lori, who's who I would say she's a friend because uh, she's just a good person. I, I, I love her. Um, but her, she's on vacation and I'm going to start to cry. She's on vacation on a cruise. She travels a lot. Uh, and, um, her cat buddy was ill and buddy, buddy passed away. Her buddy died while she was away, <sighs> which only makes me get emotional because I know how much she loved that cat. And I've lost a cat bit myself, as you know. Uh, but, um, the idea of buddy, my buddy passing away while I'm on a work trip and there's nothing I can do about that. Um, unless I like get a boyfriend to live with me just because I'm afraid my cat is, you know, alone. Uh, but the idea of buddy passing while I'm out on a work trip is my greatest nightmare. Oh, my greatest nightmare. But, um, but her buddy passed away. He was a little ginger cat with little speckles all over his nose. It looked like his nose was covered in freckles, but just his nose. It was so cute. Uh, but... I'm off topic. This is a card from Deb. Deb is, um, I'm going to tell Deb, if it's the same Deb, uh, is too generous. Uh, honestly, I want to say your name always comes up and there's just something very thoughtful and very nice and also fairly expensive. You she associated with your name. So please, I appreciate it, but just dial it back. I don't know what your financial situation is, but you're always always sending me something very thoughtful. And I, I, I love it. But if it's the same Deb every time, I just feel like that's a lot. And I don't want to put anybody out for just, a, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I love it. Um, but this is a card from Deb and this is absolutely hysterical. Another, another birthday just means you're stronger, wiser, sweeter, truer. There's cats. And then you open it up and it's a pop-up card. 
Ta-da. Um, sharper, smoother, smarter, you were. Brighter, prouder, finer, bolder, and only slightly older. Uh, and that's from love from Deb, Jessica, and Howard. Um, Jessica and Howard are cats. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? And I love that color. And there was a card, a Duncan's card in there. I just hit Duncan's today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and again, if it's the same Deb who's frequently sending me things like that, I appreciate it. Uh, but it's a lot. It's a lot. And I don't know what, you're going, what your life is like. So thank you. <laughs> That's not the most gracious thank you, is it? And then this card uh, is from Barely Real. Barely Real. Uh, happy birthday. I tried to find a card that captures just how much you're loved. Watch this. <laughs> you love so much the car exploded. There's little lights. And music, but that's not impossible. There's no way a card could not hold, could hold all that love. Isn't that the cutest card? And there was a, a, a Taco Bell gift card in there. Uh, Taco Bell, as you know, is one of my favorite go-tos. If I just need something to hold me over, um, I'll just get like one bean burrito or one taco and uh, a bottle of water and that's that is my new order at, at Taco Bell because I used to order like two beefy bean burrito, whatever it was, and the calories I would eat at Taco Bell alone were devastating. So I try to keep dial it back. Um, what else? What else? I think that's it for my cards. Uh, and I want to thank you guys very much for that because I feel like a toddler when I open up a, a, a birthday card. There you go. Seven and a half minutes of your life you're not getting back watching me talk about my birthday cards. Mm. Why are you watching these things? Um, let's see. What else? What else? I don't know what I'm doing today. Um, crew scheduling has uh, crew scheduling has two and a half hours left where they can call me. I don't think they're going to call me. Of course I came to Goodwill. Of course I did. So I found some clothes for myself. I didn't find really anything on the uh, hard goods because it's, it's just crap on the shelves. Uh, but I found some things for myself. Pretty happy. I have really come to love Tommy Bahama, and uh, I love that shirt. I think it's very fun. It is $6 minus 20%. This is a Jane Barnes shirt. I love Jane Barnes, a textile designer originally, I think, which you can tell by the, the really interesting fabrics they use. Uh, but uh, I'm thinking about that. I have to try this on. Just for kicks, I have to look this up on eBay to see if anyone would buy this. I love this shirt for myself. I'm going to try it on because it looks a little bit small. It does remind me of American Airlines uh, ladies' blouses, but I still like it. This is an Orvis pullover that looks po totally brand new. Uh, I don't love it. I don't know if I'd wear it, but the name Orvis, well, I'll tell you that story in a second. Hold on. Mm. Ah, better. Hey guys, how are you? So this is future Steven. This is editing Steven. I was just on the treadmill watching the video clips that I put together for the video you're watching right now. And I remembered I didn't tell you the story about Orvis, the Orvis shirt that I was going to buy at Goodwill and didn't. Uh, Orvis, O-R-V-I-S. So it's like a travel accessory clothing company, kind of like Eddie Bauer but with more money and um, a little sort of upper middle class Eddie Bauer. And so I, uh, um, when I first moved to Boston, when I was a kid, uh, my first job in Boston was selling hot sauce in a kiosk in Faneuil Hall Marketplace for $5 an hour. Yes, this was 1923. <laughs> but I made $5 an hour selling hot sauce in Faneuil Hall. Um, after being paid and taxes coming out and paying the rent for my room, because I was renting a room in like a rooming house in Somerville. I know I get sexier every day. Um, I hardly had any money left. Some days for lunch, I would buy a roll, just a, a bread roll from Oban Pan with two pats of butter and whatever honey I could grab or steal. And that would sometimes be my lunch because I had to save a couple bucks to be able to buy a couple beers later on that night, of course, you know. Uh, but uh, I'd rather eat, drink than eat. That was a sure sign of me being an alcoholic. But 
Um, what, working in Faneuil Hall Marketplace during my lunch hour, before or after work, I would walk around all the stores in Faneuil Hall Marketplace that I couldn't afford to spend any money in. And my favorite store was the Orvis store. They actually had a, a, a brick and mortar store in Faneuil Hall Marketplace. And I would walk through and everything seemed to have a, a tag or a plaque or something telling a story of what part of the country this piece of this piece of merchandise would help you appreciate to the most, you know. Uh, and I would look at the clothes and the shoes and the, the hiking boots. And I would look at all these accessories that to my eye seemed so extraordinarily luxurious at the time uh, that uh, it was it was just like breakfast at Tiffany's. So this is like breakfast at Orvis. Like <laughs> it was one of my happy places when I was abjectly poor, when I had zero dollars. I had less money then than I did when I was homeless living in a minivan, I'll tell you. Um, it was awful, awful time. But um, formative, I learned a lot. Um, but that Orvis shop was my safe place, my happy place. I would go there and walk around and browse. I'm sure they thought I was a shoplifter because of what I probably looked like and certainly what I smelled like at the time because I was drinking a lot. But um, but that was Orvis to me. Uh, it was my happy, safe, high-end destination. And so these days, occasionally when I see a piece of Orvis that's in good shape, I'm almost always tempted to buy it. But oddly enough, these days, eh, it's not my speed. <laughs> I like things a little nicer now than than Orvis. My taste level and uh, my appreciation for nicer things, nicer fabrics, colors, prints. Um, uh, it's not always about brand names. Uh, I certainly like a few of them because you can always trust certain lines like like Ralph Lauren Polo. You can always trust Polo, Ralph Lauren, you know, um, Laura Piama. You can always trust certain brands. Uh, so... Blah, blah, blah. So that's my little story about Orvis. I was going to tell you, um, but I couldn't tell you that whole story in Goodwill, right? All right, so there you go. Continue on with the video, and I will see you later. This is a, I think it's an unworn, super vintage uh, cardigan by Jansen. It's wool and mohair, and there are no moth holes. It's in fantastic shape. It looks like it's been folded for decades uh, and then someone died obviously and just left it at go ball but I love that I'm gonna try it on I don't wear hoodies ever but this is really actually quite nice the fabric is great it's by lucky uh, I'm actually wearing my lucky jeans today uh, and I think it'd be fun I can see myself wearing this honestly on the ferry over to Provincetown or in San Francisco as a cute little layering piece I think this is really cute I'm gonna try that on Paul Frederick. I used to wear a lot of Paul Frederick when I worked at Neiman's because uh, their, their things look expensive, but they're not. I just like the stripes on this shirt. This would be great as a layering piece. And something else I don't see myself wearing all the time, but it's Tommy Bahama. Uh, it feels wonderful. The fabric is really, really great. Again, just a real, this would be a super, super casual piece to throw on. Uh, throw on on a super casual, I don't know. I'm trying to talk myself into wearing it, but I don't know. It's just cheap. It's uh, $7.99 and then half off. So I'm trying to talk myself into buying it. Eh, we'll see. On the way to the changing room, I saw this hanging on the wall. It's a tile uh, made in San Marino, Italy. The Republic of San Marino. That's what that means. San Marino. Well, I'll tell you that in the car, I think. I, I'm, I'm certainly going to buy it. It's half off $6. I... I am so happy with this. I'll tell you why in a minute. I am always looking for fun, like original artwork for my walls. And uh, that is not what I'm buying. And that is not what I'm buying either. <laughs> if you know my story, that is not the truth. But uh, I'm always looking for art. Oof. This may not be handmade, but I cannot not buy this. Especially for $2.99 minus 20%. Yeah, I need, think I need to take this for my art wall. Look how cute this shirt is. It's uh, Tommy Bahama. I love how the pattern actually sort of continues across here. I think that's cute. I like it. I think it's a cute shirt. Um, 
I still have a bit of a belly right here, this little, whoop, right there, beep, beep. I still have to lose that, but otherwise I'm pretty happy. I love this shirt. This, <laughs> this is a no. <laughs> I probably only wear the hood under desperate situations, but honestly, I think this is actually quite cute. It's cheap, it's Lucky, it's by a company called Lucky. It would look better if I, once my chest is a little better. Because <laughs> right now, yeah, but I like it. I like this, it's cheap. That shirt did fit, but I didn't like it on me. And this is a big yes. I know it looks very long. This is just so you can tuck it in, not have it pop out, so it, it's a little, little too long here. Untucked, you would tuck this in. But the sleeve length is perfect. Oh, and it is monogrammed. So that's a hard no. Oh, is anyone gonna look at my wrist? I don't know, I like the shirt. I think that would look great under a sport coat or a blazer. That monogram. Hmm. This is that Tommy Bahama uh, polo shirt kind of thing. Uh, as much as it's Tommy Bahama and it's only gonna cost like, I don't know, 350. This is, this is dressing so you're not naked. This isn't dressing so you feel cute. This is to put this on when you don't want to be naked, which is not my goal. So it's cheap and it's tiny, but I'm gonna say no. And this, I love these pants. These are vintage Nessie AG. I don't know, I guess it's a 90s brand or something, but they're wide leg, really, really fun. It's like a chartreuse, which actually I love with navy, but I, yeah, I'm gonna get these too. They're like, I don't know, how much are these? $10, I love these. And I'm taking these pants, that Tommy Bahama, the Janssen sweater, and this uh, Lucky hoodie. And I found a cheap pair of really comfortable slippers as well. That was a lot of fun. A lot more fun than that movie I walked out of the other day. Um, so I ended up getting those chartreuse wide leg pants, which I really love. Those are going to be a lot of fun this spring and this summer. Um, I got the Time Bahama uh, silk shirt. The, who was the, oh, the Lucky pullover, that hoodie with the little hood there. What else did I get? That Janssen sweater, which is a little small for me, but I can probably resell it on eBay. Yes, I am going to list things finally. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I promise. Um, what else is, what else did I get? Oh, and I got a pair of shoes. I forget the name of the Olakai. Is that the name of the brand with the little uh, Hawaiian fish hook kind of thing as their logo? <clears throat> It's a pretty worn leather pair of shoes, uh, but I'm gonna use them more as slippers. Daniel, one of my uh, favorite subscribers, Daniel, um, asked me in a post, re a comment a while back, how do I feel about like wearing someone else's shoes? Uh, that, you know, do I wear socks every, so I don't wear socks almost ever. Unless I'm working, I almost never wear socks. So putting my feet in somebody else's shoes well, not to dredge up my past, I have done much more intimate things than wear someone else's shoes with complete strangers over and over and over again. So, um, so a pair of shoes, nah, my, I, yeah, I'm not so worried about someone else's feet. I know some people have feet issues. I don't. Again, I have, I have done things voluntarily, willingly, sometimes happily, um, much worse and much more interesting than putting on someone else's shoes. <laughs> if you only knew, but, um, I guess you got the idea there. Let me let you go. Cause I want to probably go home and grab, oh, maybe I'll grab something uh, with one of my gift cards, a little snack, just something small, just to kind of get me through the day where I can eat a sensible dinner. All right. So, um, I will see you guys later. Alrighty, so I stopped off at Taco Bell. I got one bean burrito, no onions, and some Diablo sauce. You know there's 390 calories in a bean burrito. That seems like a lot to me. Uh, but uh, it was better than stopping off at Pink Box, which is what I really wanted to do for my birthday donut that I'm not going to take. Um, so I did have a little bite to eat. Um, I came into Marshall's because I have to buy some hangers. I'm um, running out of hangers. And with all the clothes I've been buying myself, I definitely need to buy some more of these hangers. I buy the knockoff version of the huggable hangers that I love so much. Um, but there's a 30 pack 
Ta -da! for $13. So I'm going to take these. I can probably use them all right now. Uh, and I'll take a look around just because, you know, I'm never in here. <sighs> so I'm buying those hangers, but I'm also buying three, four of these big cat scratcher bowls. Uh, they're by Cat Stages. They're on sale from 15 to 12. And I've got one of these. They're giant. They're really, you can see how big they are. They're giant. Um, and both of my cats prefer this one over the smaller ones I bought at Walmart. I spent like 30 bucks on those, um, 45, I think. Uh, but they both prefer this larger one. And uh, so I don't know if I can ever find these again in this size. Um, so I'm buying four of them. The cats don't scratch them so much, but they love to rest in them. So, and I have these cat beds and cat scratchers all over the house. If you know how many cat trees I have, I probably have as many cat scratch pads uh, around the house as well. And are these on sale too? Huh. I don't know why these are, are so expensive, but my cats go through them pretty quickly. All right, I'm very excited. Yep, so I just spent $100 at Marshall's. I bought four of those uh, little cardboard cat beds. They love those beds. They love them. They love them. And I bought some sunscreen because I need it. I bought another pair of gym shorts. And I bought those hangers. 100 bucks. I'm too used to Google's prices, I'll tell you. Someone out there right now is yelling at the screen saying, Steven, you spend too much money at Goodwill and on your cats. I do, but that's why I have a YouTube channel. So the, the money I earn from my YouTube channel is what I consider my fun money. It's like what I can spend without feeling guilty. Ta-da! So stop yelling at me. I do not know what's happening right now. I think my cats got in a fight while I was away from the house uh, because Eleanor just started. You know, did you ever see the dark crystal? I mean, I know it's a thousand years ago. The dark crystal, the Skeksis, the noises they would make before they started talking. Meow. Eleanor was just going meow, at Buddy and his tail fluffed up. She was really pissed off. I don't know what happened, but I don't hear them yelling right now, so that's good. Uh, so I'm going to end this video tonight, uh, but uh, I just had absolutely an extraordinary, exquisite day. I know for some people it would be very boring. I slept in, hung out with the cats, gave them their treats, turned back over, went back to sleep. It was great. Um, then I went off to the post office, got a stack of beautiful cards from beautiful people. Uh, went off, bought some gorgeous things at a fantastic discounted price. I was so happy. And then I went to the gym and I jumped on the treadmill uh, for about two miles. That's kind of a warm up because I don't want to just jump on the elliptical and be like, <sighs> crazy. Uh, but uh, I was two miles on the treadmill and an hour on the elliptical, which burned off a surprising number of calories, which I just ate uh, the rest of the calories I burned off. I have to have some protein, right? So I had some cheese. Uh, and um, so I just, I just ate all those calories I burned off just now. But um, it's been an extraordinarily beautiful, simple, peaceful, comfortable day, surrounded by my cats and the things I love, and you. And you are right there with me the whole time. It was it was really nice. Thank you. Uh, but I wanted to end this video tonight uh, on a bit of, on a uh, note of gratitude for just everything. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned, I probably mentioned this already, but tomorrow morning will be my seventh year anniversary of having passed in flight training to become a flight attendant. And it was such a difficult day. Uh, and the whole of training was was very, very difficult. But I I'm just so grateful for, for, for everything, as, and my classmates especially, for helping me get through that very stressful experience. But um, yeah, so it's been a beautiful day. I'm going to end this video tonight on a note of thanks for joining me, and I will see you later. All right, fly safe. Bye.